Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Thea, The Awakening, Return of the Giants. In this part, I would like to finish the Cosmic Tree quest. Uh, to finish it, we have to go all the way to this location. But uh, we don't have anything else before that except uh, this uh, uh, part of the quest line that we skipped. This was here basically since we started the quest. We don't have to do this, but uh, I talked about that. I want to just uh, go through the through the information that we can get here. Some extra information about uh, who actually uh, tried to destroy the cosmic tree. And um, then we pick up our uh, new weapons. We have uh, some more access in the village. And yeah, then we finish the cosmic tree quest. And um, then... Uh, at some point, the Return of the Giants questline should start. It doesn't have to start immediately, but usually it starts pretty soon. And um, once that starts, I'll get go into the unknown. I know like the first two parts of the questline, maybe I fought with Giants maybe twice, and I didn't like it at all, so that's going to be fun. But um, um, let's first focus on the Cosmic Tree. So let's uh, move to the north and... You arrive at a tall stone-built tower. Check the tower. An arched doorway stands ajar, and an old man waves at you to come in. Okay, so let's go in. You walk into the lower floors of the tower. The room is dark and dingy. The walls are filled with bookshelves, barely holding under the weight of the thousands of works that you think must be housed here. There is a desk and some chairs, and the old man sits behind it. Come in, come in. Sit and let us talk. I am Professor Anthony Hufka formerly of the Grand University. These days, well, on research leave, I suppose. Hello. We found this old scroll by a body. It talked about uh, curing the darkness, and it had uh, your tower marked on the map. Ah, the Elven Scroll. Have you found the Guardian yet? He went to that grove place, but I've never been able to find out what happened to him. His pesky student ran off with the scroll before I could write down the directions. And I don't like leaving this tower anyway. Yes, we have talked. Uh, we are on a quest to try and save Thea. Hmm, right. And no doubt he spun you an eloquent tale of the menace that humanity brought upon Thea, yes? Well, he is a wise one, I will grant him that. But his version of history is... Hmm... Well, let's just say history is written by the victors. The elves have been the victors for many thousands of years, and thus they do write our history. I, however, believe it is time we wrote our own. What do you mean? You are not uh, making much sense. Well, the elves will tell you that the cosmic tree is one of the pillars of the world. I won't go into it. They know it better. They are correct on that, but sometimes pillars must fall in order to build a new house, you know. Still not making much right, sense. Right, right. I am an old man, too old for human existence. I forget myself. So it was us, humans, that burned that damned tree. Yes, we at the Grand University. We had a multinational conference and we came to a conclusion. Magic is stifling humanity. Well, it's obvious that uh, this is meant to be uh, read uh, uh, way earlier during the quest line. But uh, let's go through it anyway. Listen to me. Magic and its prime stewards, the elves, they are keeping us from truly evolving, from reaching our own potential. We can finally be free from superstition, from dark magic, from monsters. We will build a civilization based on reason and knowledge. And yes, this will be costly. Magic will take with it many creatures, not all bad, but humanity will finally be free. Okay, I have to go through these options. I don't remember them. What of the balance of the world... Uh, what of all the souls? Oh, uh, so... I think these answers depend on the, uh, uh, which god we have chosen. Let's go with the first one. And what of the balance of the world? What of all the souls unable to seek an afterlife? What of the creatures who live by magic's hand as uh, children of well as we could never allow such a fate for Thea? Come on. Hello, why can't I click on that? Oh, there we that go. one. 
I suppose there is no reasoning with Vele's kin. After all, he is part elven himself. I suppose it is back to the Dark Ages and the whip of the elder people upon our backs. Now go, leave me be. Oh, very old, man. You find yourself standing in an empty field. No tower, no man, nothing. I think it would really be quite different with the uh, other gods. Uh, we could just uh, at least pretend that we agree with him. He would tell us more. But uh, since the plan is to uh, help, basically, the Cosmic Tree and Elves restore the magic. So, I just uh, chose this option. And now we can get back home. You come across a dead body lying in some sort oh, of ditch. Oh, hello. The corpse is <laughs> literally stomped into the ground. Okay. Uh, giants. Here we can search you the search body the corpse and find some of its belongings still intact. Get some materials. Now if you take the time to look at the scene. You see that the ditch is actually more like a giant footprint. You see some more stuff lodged under the body, but you also feel the ground shake beneath you and strange sounds coming towards this place. And now we have uh, uh, an option to stay here, and that would probably lead to a first fight with giants, but um, it's very risky, and because we are like one step away from finishing the Cosmic Tree quest line. I don't want to lose anyone at this point, so I will just run away. But um, uh, once we finish the Cosmic Tree, uh, if we get this event again, I will probably stay and try to find uh, whatever is coming. What is this? Uh, undead. Should probably just try to catch them before they get to the village. What is this? We are not crafting? Hmm. Let's uh, make one more mountain cutter. We won't be able to make it before we get to the village. Actually, maybe he could make two. The reason why I'm thinking about this is uh, if I want to invest uh, the material or if I want to save it up. So I kind of doubt that um, we could get to heavy armors in uh, this let's play, so maybe we can spend the material. That would be the main reason to keep it, to make some armor from that. I'll just uh, make two more for now. Oh, and we can maybe swap these two. Want to want the weakest uh, uh, crafter to work on the food and get as many points as possible for weapons. Now, when I think about it, he could maybe ignore the food for a while, just uh, focused more on the research. It doesn't change anything. But whatever, we are still at least working on the uh, two projects at a time, and they'll both give us experience. I mean, experience, research points, of course. There's still some items that I would like to unlock. So let's try. We have one point. We'll have to decide. Uh, let's actually talk about it now, what our options are. Uh, I think materials, we are not going to unlock anything else. We don't care about uh, any materials except the, the highest quality or the ra rarest ones. And we won't get enough points for that, so we will rely on what we find. But um, when it comes to crafting, we still have some options um, that um, I'm thinking about. Ranged weapons, that's one option. This would uh, significantly increase our ability to support a light during normal combats. Um, and we don't have uh, like almost any ranged weapons. We have some uh, very basic bows, but compared to crossbows that we could get here, it's really nothing. So 
that's one option. We could also try jewelry. There is some really good stuff. Uh, and um, I'm still thinking about medium armories, though I'm not a big fan of that. I really, if we go this way, then I would go for heavy armors, and I don't think that we are gonna get that many points. So these are our two options, and then we could maybe try some buildings. Where is it? Um, I don't remember right now which buildings uh, increase the chance to attract elves. I think Palisade, made purely from elven wood, increases the chance quite a bit. So that would be another option. I'm not sure about barracks. So yeah, why I'm talking about this. Uh, guys, let me know what uh, you want me to do. I'll leave this to you. Uh, if you want to see uh, some uh, high tier jewelry, high tier range weapons or more buildings, uh, I'll go with uh, what you decide to do. So let me know in comments. For now, I'm going to save uh, the research points. We basically need just one, uh, I mean one more, to... Uh, Know, unlock another part uh, of uh, the research web and then we could start crafting so yeah let me know we can start working on something in the next part I think but uh, back to the game now uh, we just end the turn even though the undead are running away now or at least not running closer I probably still want to kill them they are way too close. Okay, I can just go with tactics and auto resolve this one. And do we have enough movement to get to the village? We do. Mm -hmm, what do we want to leave behind? All of this. We have a lot of stuff. I didn't expect that we have so many things. Nothing super useful, but quite a lot of stuff, as I said. Okay, how does it look like with food? Oh, oh, here, here it is. I thought that we ate everything. So we just take. Uh, more just for the uh, extra variety. The rest we can probably leave in the village. We have full on. Oh, let's take uh, the cooked greens. And. Uh, Axis. That's what we want. Here they are. Don't care about the monster menace, but these three, something we definitely want. Okay, elves. So from 14.8, it's uh, upgraded to 32.10. So that's one. Same here. And who else? 24.3, that's a nice axe. But this one is much better. I wanted to check one more thing. Because uh, we found one more heavy armor in the previous part. I wanted to uh, check it off camera. Of course I forget about that. So I'll check it now if uh, someone can carry that. How strong is this? 20. You... Oh, you should be strong enough. Uh, oh, you are not. Damn it. What about you? I kind of want to keep the uh, vest though, because uh, plus two magic, and she's not strong enough anyway. What about you? Same thing. Oh, maybe it's gonna be close, but this would work. Thirteen three for nineteen. Do we want to sacrifice the dexterity? Oh, we probably won't. Let's equip that. 
Oh, do you have Blessing of Strength, by the way? Nope. Okay, so she can wear that. Uh, our warriors are fine. Uh, this is quite bad. 300 weight and only 15 armor. This is something we probably want to replace at some point. Okay. And we also want to equip uh, uh, those two spears because that's definitely an upgrade, at least for someone. Uh, can we somehow get it to our healer? Seventeen six four fourteen eight. This is close. Hmm. I want the piercing damage. So let's equip it to Kriha. One, two, three. And you know what? This uh, maze just sucks. I know that we are uh, throwing away the only uh, uh, the only blunt damage guy that we had, but uh, uh, this weapon is just really bad. So until we find a better maze, I'll just go with the piercing damage. If we find a really good maze, we could maybe try it. Or what we could try is, um, that would be another option, to research two-handed maces. I've actually never done that. And check uh, how strong maces we can craft. So that's another option uh, for you guys to consider. We can go with... Now we just um, leave everything we don't need in the village. What about here? Can we get some upgrades here? Ah, I can check this off camera. That would take too long. Uh, this is usually really close. And we probably won't need that. So let's we'll just focus on what we really want to do today, and that's uh, finishing the Cosmic Tree quest. Timing is ideal, because it's a morning. So we don't have to worry about the village too much. Your village is swarmed by the wailing wraiths. Oops. They are a force of pure darkness, a menacing wave of tormented souls who seek nothing but the destruction of all life. It that seems they have become good. more frequent of late, more angered and active for some reason. Okay, so the option is uh, try to seek shelter in our homes and stick together. You try to hide from the dark really? souls, but walls cannot protect you. Really? Your village becomes cursed with the darkness, and you do not have enough magic or folk knowledge to fight it off. Some of your young ones perished this night, and everyone feels the dread in their souls. And we are cursed on top of that? <sighs> okay. So that's another dead child. It's already like fourth one during this uh, let's play. But the, those curses are annoying. If we want to get rid of that, we would have to go to Zodi, and I just don't want to uh, take three villagers and go there. That's very risky. Uh, is there any other option? Blessed tree symbol. I'm. Th I think. No, this is just the Curse of Darkness. So it seems that the only option how to get rid of this is really go to Zodi. Maybe we'll do that uh, once we finish the Cosmic Tree. We just uh, uh, have them join the expedition, send the whole group to Zodi, get rid of those curses and go back. I hate being cursed. This one is not the worst, but I still want to remove it. Um, well, that was annoying. Oh, 
skeletons. And they are attacking? Sure, why not? I want to check our numbers. 44, 13, 10, that's crazy. 45, 20, and 43, 12. Probably want to choose someone who won't one shot the skeleton in case um, the next one has piercing damage. And sure enough. Okay, but now we can kill him. Ah, it's not good enough. For, from now on, I'll probably just uh, take armor if it's 20 plus or has some extra stats. And let's do this. You approach what looks like an animal lair. You feel strong magic protecting this place. But with the compass, you are able to see it and enter. Inside the lair, you see a stump of an enormous burnt-out tree and a gigantic snake-like creature intertwined around it. It has the long, slithering body of a snake and a forked tongue, yet its head is more like a drake. With sharp teeth and horned skull, it also hides wings on its back. It is staring right at you. So, the saviors of Thea have finally slithered in. I waited a long while for this. What is this place? It can't be the Cosmic Tree, surely. Sure are you? And why is that? The Mother Tree does not reside in one place, silly mortal. And so, yes, this is her, in a way. I thought it fitting to snatch her seed and lay in wait right here. So, if you are victorious, the seed can be sown without delay. And if you follow another path, the mother will watch her defeat once more. Who exactly are you? Uh, and you said vi victorious? So what, you are here to fight with us? I don't know yet. I have many names. Some call me Worm. Some Slibinas. Smish. But you can call me Zmei the Devourer. It sounds more threatening that way, does it not? Um, uh, I suppose, although now you said it, it kind of lessened the effect. Damn, it did, didn't it? Oh well, Zmei will do. Who am I, you asked before? I am the ever-changing fate. The roll of the dice, the sudden storm on a clear day. Chaos, that is what I am. Why do you care what happens to the seed, or the tree, or Thea, in fact? Do you want uh, it destroyed? Do you like the darkness? Like the darkness, yes, I suppose so. But complete darkness, like it was before this seed started growing its tiny power. So, I suppose I seek to throw us back into the void. A void is wonderfully chaotic, you see. You said you don't know if you will attack us, so can we have the seat? <laughs> it's not to gonna your work, first but statement, well, we can try. I say I am no fortune teller. Were you to leave right now, I will likely stay, or maybe not, who knows? To your second request, no. Now, before we continue our talk and address the possibility of confrontation, I advise you to decide if you are indeed ready. For if we proceed, and if I am victorious in either flesh or mind, you will seal the fate of your precious Thea. I do not like jewels that are uneven, so last chance to come back when you're ready. Okay, so our options now are just leave or fight him or try to convince him that uh, it would be better for him to give us the seed which would be this option you say you are chaos you uh, yet you sit here with the seed stagnation is more like it if you are chaos you should leave it to fate and see what happens uh, then we would have a five skull social challenge but i don't want to do that i want to fight him i kind of like this fight I always go with the fight option, or so far, I every time went with this option, and uh, 
Uh, because this is the first time on camera, I want to fight him again. It's really a fun fight, so let's do that. Um, yeah, there is a little more to talk about, May. Uh, you stand in our way, or you stand in the way of our journey, and so we must stand against you. Attack! It's a risky fight, but it's not um, too many mobs that makes it easier. Just um, have to do everything we can to prevent him from attacking. Who goes first? We go first. Hmm. Should be able to discard at least something, but I'm thinking let's actually get some damage to the front. Start. Uh, maybe with uh, some extra shielding. Oh, we can actually play two cards. I should have uh, should have noticed that. Uh, okay, so both our guys uh, without piercing damage. And okay, so this may comes from the supported hand. That's a huge help because when you see his stats, it's really quite dangerous. 172 hit points, uh, 64 damage. It's the strongest. Uh, Opponent uh, we have seen so far, and yet uh, I will say the uh, compared to giants, this is nothing. Um, okay, this should be quite easy, I think. How many cards can we play now? Two. So let's uh, show the power of our spears. Too bad that we have only one elf in the active hand. But it's already... how much damage is this gonna be? Uh, 44, 57, 70 damage just from this elf plus the 22 that we have just, just dealt, so there was like 92 damage. And... Um, this is the second strongest card. So it's 70 uh, plus um, 55, not enough. But we can still use first action to get some people to the front. Let's see. Hmm. Start with counter tactics. Kill at least one of them before they can do anything. I think this is a chance for the VSC. This should be a kill. Okay. Can we confuse someone? Can't. Uh, how exactly is this gonna work? This is going to be a kill. These three are gonna kill this May and then uh, this minion would attack. So we probably want someone to the front so then we can clear all the cards and don't take any damage. Uh, we can. Uh, how can we do it? We want to get both to the front. Well, we can deal some damage. Get the first action. Need uh, someone who can one shot the, the minion. And uh, that's you. Okay, first action. We still have some piercing damage left. But not enough for a kill. I should be fine. Now we should have enough damage for everything. And look at which which one is they gonna be. Ah, no. I wanted to show the strength of the elf, but uh, this may was uh, already damaged too much. 
Okay, and you have you defeated the Zmei. His monstrous body collapses with a thump and lies lifeless beneath your feet. But from beneath the carcass appears a much smaller worm smiling at you as he speaks. My, my, defeated by a bunch of villagers. Although it is a fate that great heroes share with me, I never thought a pitchfork could be my earthly undoing. Your gods do laugh at me now. How I do love chaos. How I long to witness what wonderful fate humanity will bring us now. Well done, my friends. Here is your coveted cosmic seed. You place it on the tree's stump and paint this ancient rune with your own blood. Lesmay draws the symbol with his tongue. After that, this place will fall under a protection spell that even I won't be able to penetrate. In time, a long, long time, most likely several of your generations, the tree will grow once more. Or it will not. Its fate is in your hands. I shall watch your decision with pleasure, little one. With his last words, the Zmei turns around and disappears into thin air. Okay, so the Zmei is defeated. We can check our rewards. Uh, quite disappointing. The stack of Dragon Leather is not bad, but it's basically all we got. These when we're talking about resources. Uh, then we have uh, Blessing of Strength for everyone. And some permanent bonuses, and these are very nice. Uh, plus 5 Dexterity, plus 2 Strength, plus 6 to Folklore isn't bad, plus 3 to Magic is huge. So this part of the reward is very nice. Um, and now we have to decide what we're gonna do. So we either restore the magic or basically destroy the seed. But um, uh, this is already decided. Like elves helped us a lot, so let's uh, uh, help them uh, to repay the favor. So we go with the first option: place the seed on the uh, stump and bring back the light. You walk up to the stump and place the seed in the center. You begin drawing the symbol. You notice that a group of non-humans stands close by, trying desperately to walk through some invisible barrier. You're not sure if it is the Zmei, the elf, or maybe the old sage that is helping you, but it matters not. You finish the ritual, and just like the Zmei said, the seed is absorbed into the tree's stump. Immediately, you see life return to the ancient wood, and a single, thin, long branch reaches out, with a tiny green leaf, delicately rustling in the wind. You feel power growing in this place, power beyond any magic, life itself, perhaps. The invisible force pushes you away, gently, yet firmly. Slowly, the place becomes less and less material, until it dissolves before your very eyes. You know you will not see it again, and yet hope grows in your hearts. It will take long years before Thier is restored to its former glory, but it is thanks to your efforts that it will be restored. So, job well done, and it's time to leave. Oh, okay, one more part, I forgot about this. Uh, unless it appears before you, I've been watching your progress and rejoice at, uh, at your success. Now I wish to join your family. Is it if that's okay? So here is another elf. I kind of expected that. I wasn't sure, but that's the reason why I crafted more axes because I really thought that we we're gonna get more elves. He's a mage, but um, we check him. He can handle uh, an axe easily. Uh, really good stats. Look at the magic. Uh, speech is pretty good. Intelligence, will. So well, it's an elf. Overpowered uh, in this game, at least. What do you have? Good quality stuff. Dread with Topaz. No, not good enough. And resources. Again, this is very disappointing. And what about the Creepy Doll? Plus two damage. Well, we can use that. It's actually not that bad. Um, but again, it's only about that elf. Like having another elf is huge. And a ton of experience. Decent amount of research. So, now we can see in the victory screen that uh, uh, we have met the victory conditions, that's finishing the, uh, the Cosmic Tree quest. We finished uh, the God's Duty quest, and now we could basically end the game, but uh, here is the giant quest uh, 
uh, is still here, and we want to do that, so we're gonna keep playing, get back to the game, and now the Return of the Giant questline should start at any moment. We could probably go back, but. Uh, I'm not gonna end the turn because we have done everything we wanted to do in this part. So in the next part we get back to the village, uh, take the cursed people, get rid of the curse, return back and um, we just wait for the uh, for the new quest line to show up. Meanwhile, uh, let me know guys what uh, we're gonna do, what do we, what you want me to craft, what you want me to see. We can also, or we can, we will have to gather some more elven wood in case we go for buildings but uh, yeah, we have explored the map there are some parts that we still could explore but they're quite far away this depends on how soon are the giants going to show up but well we'll see I am sure that we'll find something to do in case they don't show up immediately at least we would have some more time for um, or to get uh, better gear. But you've seen that uh, the gear is already good enough. The, the Zmei fight was actually even easier than I expected. Uh, so I hope you like this part. Join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.